Hello, my name is Deborah from Skyway Visuals, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit our Blender templates. The first thing you'll need to do is download the free software Blender by going to blender.org or clicking the link in the description. Once there, you can download Blender for free. Now, just wait for Blender to download, open up the installer, and choose where to install it on your computer and then wait for it to install. Once you're finished with that, you can locate Blender on your computer and open it up. In order to download the free demo file used for this tutorial, you can follow the link in the description of this video. If you purchased a template from our website, skywayvisuals.com, our Blender Market store, or our Gumroad store, you can download your files from the email you receive or the websites that you purchased them from. If you purchase your template from Etsy, simply download the PDF from Etsy and follow the link included in the PDF in order to download your purchase template. Once you've downloaded your file, unzip the file. If you've purchased a pack which includes more than one template, you can determine which template you'd like to use by opening up the PDF tutorial included and scrolling to the content list. Then go back to the file you've downloaded and use the content list to open up the template that corresponds to the number. Now you can open up the blim file of the template you'd like to edit and wait for it to load. Once it's loaded, you can click edit and then click preferences. Now click install and locate the wizard on your computer. Then you'll want to click the wizard zip file and click install add-on. Then you can click save preferences to make sure these settings are saved if you don't have auto save on. Now you should be able to see the wizard pop up to the right of your blimp file. If it doesn't show up, you can press in on your keyboard to make this panel appear and reappear. So now that everything is loaded in, we're just going to left click and select an object and then click and drag on the timeline to go backwards or forwards on the template. So the wizard is an add-on created by Skyway Visuals to help you edit our templates a little bit more easily. What it does is it presents to you the fields that you want to customize in your template in this easy to read user interface. So once you have the wizard installed and enabled, you want to make sure you have it selected in the user interface of Blender. Then you should see the panel for the wizard. And now we can see that we have the fields that correspond to what you can see in the viewport. All right, so what this means is that if you want to change the text that says working together, you simply select that and change it to what you want it to say and type enter. The same thing goes for colors and images. So if you want to change the colors that you see, so you can see we have this blue here. You can change it and you can continuously just keep changing the colors that you see in the template until you get something that you like. So I'm just gonna change the first thing color to yellow, second thing color to a reddish or yellowish orange, the third thing color I'll make it, I'll make it a, yeah, a yellowish white. And let me go back to the second text here and change it to be a little bit darker. And that is looking pretty nice. So now we can edit the image that we see. So some templates are going to have multiple images and you'll see them listed in sequential order. But for this template, there's only one image. So we're just going to select this folder here and find an image on our computer to replace that image with. So I'm going to select a placeholder folder on my computer. I'm just going to choose one of the images that's in this folder. And now I can scrub through the timeline, see my full animation, and I'm just going to change this color to be a little bit brighter. All right. So now we can see that full animation as we scrub through the timeline. 
So now I can choose a folder on my computer for this video to render to. So I'm just going to select my desktop and click accept. And once you've chosen a folder, you can then click this render active scene button and this will render this whole template to a video that uh, will be in the folder that you selected.